Alright guys, today we got a Lennox furnace. Let's see if I can get some paper for you guys. It's going to be an ML 180 UH series. It's a 70,000 BTU 3 ton drive furnace. Uh, and we are doing a static pressure test. Two year old system. Um, here's your evaporator coil. Supply plenum. Flex duct in the attic here's your returns I just changed the filter to a 16 by 25 by 1 pleated filter and we are set on um, let's see we had to download and print out the manufacturer chart here and this is our furnace over here so I can get some better lighting for you guys One eighty ML one eighty UH O seventy P thirty six A performance chart. So right now we got the system running and cooling. We are set um, for medium high brown wire on the speed tap for cooling. And right now the system is running as you can hear. And I got one probe in the limit hole, and there's my limit kind of have it just hanging there not touching anything so it won't short and then my return probe is right here on the return side of the furnace and I use these little black plastic uh, plugs to plug them up when I'm done so system is running on medium high brown wire and as you can see here Let's get some lighting in here. We are running about 0.48 on the return, which is high. And we got a 1.03 total external static, which is high for a PSC fan motor. Let's get some better lighting in here. Our supply is 0.54 return 0.48 so that goes to show you how important static pressure testing is um, it's a two and a half ton air conditioner so we need roughly um, about a thousand CFM so let's look at the chart and see what we got for one inch static on brown which is medium high it doesn't even go up to one inch Let's see if I can get this thing to focus it goes to 0 0.9 0 0.9 medium high is 940 CFM so we're slightly under on our, stat on our CFM delivery too much static yeah it's just way too much static in here um, we got a 10 inch flex and it looks like another ten, two 10 inch flexes and I think there is a an, an 8 back there so two 10's and an 8 which they thought was two and a half ton but it this is flex and we got semi long runs goes back over there so I'm gonna make some adjustments take a look at the flex and see if we can get this uh, external static pressure down a little bit just want to show you guys the importance oh I can do one let's try one trick right here Let's see what happens when I remove the pleated filter. What happens to our static? And now our static dropped down to about 0.8. Let's close the filter door.
0.9. So now we're running about 0.9 without the filter. Which 0.9, medium high, it's about 940. Not too bad. So our return static went from 0 0.5, 0 0.49 or so to 0 0.2 just with the filter. So it's about a 0.3 drop on just on this clean pleated filter. Static tells you everything, folks. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to see if I can make some adjustments, see if I can get that static pressure down, see if there's anything wrong with the, any kinks on the flex on the return or anything like that. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Let me grab my light. See where we are running in the heating mode. And, of course, my battery went out on this. And on heating, we're running 0.85 external static pressure. Still got the probes in the same area. Return, supply, there's the inducer motor running. And we're running about 0.85 external static. So, 0.85. Point eight at medium low that's where we're on heating gives us about 915 and we're between point eight and point five so we're I would probably say it's right around 900 CFM on heating that's what I'm gonna put there about 900 CFM medium low yellow wire so looks like the return duct and supply duct are slightly undersized plus we're getting the pressure drop from the filter we're getting about a 0.3 drop coming from the pleated filter which is pretty common on pleated filters uh, my recommendation was to go with a Honeywell 4 inch media and adjust the duct work to lower our static some to get some better airflow but this is real world conditions here guys 0.85 heating mode medium low on a three ton drive two and a half ton air conditioning system